coffee. You drink it, your friend drinks it, your mom drinks it, your dad drinks it. Let's see how we can get into the business of coffee. The overview, we're going to discuss the business plan, the licensing, uh, the products and supplies, and locations for a coffee trailer, coffee truck. So, uh, business plan. So, we need a business description. It's the best as uh, the first step to a business plan. You uh, here, you physically write out exactly what your business is, physically des describe your business. Um, and then your second step to a business plan is to plan the marketing strategy, uh, decide how you're going to advertise, if you're going to advertise, if it's just going to be signs, if it's going to be a commercial, if it's going to be on Facebook, on Instagram, on whatever. This is where you decide. Uh, and then thirdly, your financial strategy as uh, how you're going to get the money. Are you going to ask a friend? You're going to ask your neighbor, you're going to get a loan, you're going to save your pennies, um, any of that. Uh, so all of this it seems silly to do, but this is how investors determine if your company is, is worth investing in or if it's, if it's worth, worth what you say it's worth. Um, if they think it's going to, going to make a business. It's a very important step that people... People tend to tend to skip. So on to your license licensing. <clears throat> First thing you have to do is you're gonna have to get a business tax ID number. Uh, this is very simple. Costs like twenty bucks ish. Um, you can go online. You can go to Texas or I think it's Texas.gov I believe. You can follow the tabs. It'll get you where you need need to be to get a tax identification number uh, so that your business is a legitimate entity. Uh, you can decide if you want to do a sole proprietorship, a joint venture, or if you want to do an LLC, corporation. These are all your decisions. Um, next, you apply for a food handling license. Uh, this is through uh, Texas Food Health Commission. Uh, it, they require you to have a tax ID number. That's why I said that's your first step. Uh, you go through them. You can decide then with your food trailer, uh, your coffee trailer, if you want it to be, uh, if you want to fall under the cottage law, if you want to be a a uh, mobile food unit or a commercial kitchen. Uh, you have to decide what row you want to go down, uh, and then. Based on what you pick, um, then that determines the requirements you need. Uh, cottage, if you go under the cottage law, cottage industry, uh, it's very lenient. Not a lot of, not a lot of criteria you have to meet. If you go all the way to the commercial kitchen side of things, I mean, there's all kinds of requirements and specifications, and this has to be made of this material and it's it's a lot more hoops to jump through but you'll be able to serve everything you want to serve no matter no questions asked whereas cottage you can only serve uh, non temperature controlled foods then when you get through all that paperwork you will get a call from your your inspector and you'll set up an inspection date they'll come inspect it give you a thumbs up or thumbs down and then you can move on or fix anything that they uh, that they want you to fix. <clears throat> Next, uh, you can do products and supplies. Uh, this is all this is assuming that we already have a trailer. We already have everything we need to start uh, except for you know uh, our coffee obviously uh, ingredients to make baked goods if we're doing that. Um, creamers, syrups, all that to make flavored coffee. Uh, then you need to look at equipment. You need blenders, coffee grinders, coffee makers, espresso machines, refrigerator, air conditioner, uh, tables, pretty much anything you can think of that you might need. You should probably go ahead and get it because you're probably going to use it. Uh, then you jump down to drinkware and paper goods. 
Uh, so me and my wife, we're actually in the process of making a coffee trailer, starting our own coffee business. Uh, drinkware and paper goods, it's, it's been a, a big challenge, um, trying to decide how many to get. Most warehouse companies, you got to order 200 or so. Uh, so this is where you need to find, find a good company that can get you the cups and the lids and the napkins and the silverware or plasticware that you need. Um, and get them in bulk uh, so that you have plenty uh, we're we got the minimum we got we got 250 just to get us started to see to see where it is that we can go from there but it's always a good a good starting point uh, just make sure you got a supplier for each one of these uh, and then you should be set to go now location locations probably the most important aspect to this whole coffee trailer. Uh, so location, you know, old adage, location, location, location. Uh, that's 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 a real thing. Uh, luckily, um, me and my wife for our trailer, we got it right on a main highway, so we got a spot good to go. Uh, but the issue that we have is signage. Uh, so this is where little you might put little signs, a little attention getters. Um, because if somebody just sees a truck parked there, they're not going to know what it is. They need they need something to grab their attention to make them turn off the road and come to your station. Um, and then your needs. Is there a need in your area for your coffee trailer? More than likely there is. Because, you know, like I said, everybody likes coffee. You like coffee. I like coffee. Your mom likes coffee. So there probably is a need. Uh, and then, obviously, the traffic, you know. We're lucky. We live out in the middle of nowhere. Not a lot of traffic. So luckily, we were able to get on a main highway. We're on. We're able to get on 281, where thousands of cars drive by all the time. Uh, if we were to set this up in our front yard, where we get two cars drive past our house a day, not going to happen. But on 281, where we get hundreds of cars, if not thousands a day, drive by, then we'll we'll get more more customers come in. Uh, the conclusion, get your licensing squared away, get all your supplies, and then just get started. Uh, without, without getting started, uh, you'll, never, you'll never go anywhere. So just step out on the ledge and do it. Uh, I mean, there's nothing you can lose.